Today I'm going to show you how to go from 14 millimeter hexes to 17 millimeter hexes on your Arma Big Rock and that's coming up next here on Jesse B Motors. If you like seeing more videos like this don't forget to like share and subscribe. Welcome back. Before we get started here people might ask why would you do this conversion and the answer is simple. There's way more tire choices for 17 millimeter than there is for 14 millimeter. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to do this conversion. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get this set screw out and get this hex off. That's real easy. You just get, I think this is a one millimeter. You go ahead and loosen that up. I just wedge it in the back here to try to help pop it off there. We're going to go ahead and pop that off and then get the cross pin out here. If it don't come out to where you can grab it, you might need a pair of pliers. And that's Next thing we're going to do, there's a little set screw right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to unscrew that and get that out of here. Now what this screw does is it holds the hinge pinch in for the knuckle. It's just a small little screw, as you can see right there. And that's what holds the hinge pin in. And then what I do is, is I got a bit here that has a 1.5 hex on it. There's a hole on this other end of the hinge pin. We're going to go ahead stick that in that hole here and we're going to go ahead and push on it and try to get that hinge pin out you can see it come out there a little bit sometimes it can be a pain and then what i normally do is as i go ahead grab a pair of pliers here try to get a hold of that just like that and then that hinge pin pulls right out now all we got to do is get our knuckle here flip that up and we're going to go ahead, take our axle apart here, push that on through. That's going to get your axle assembly out. If your bearing pops out like that, don't worry. And then I'll show you the next step. So now what we're going to do is we got to get our stub axle out here. There's a screw going down right down the center of the axle. If you look down there, you can see there's kind of a hole there. So what you're going to do is take your two millimeter hex wrench, stick it down in there, and we're going to loosen that screw up and then once that screw is out we're going to go ahead and pull that stub axle out and then it comes out real easy once you get it unthreaded it'll pop right out just like that now I'm going to show you what the difference is here this is the big rock one and then this is the one for the Typhon and you can see the difference there on how we're going to use this. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the bag and get this one installed. Now before you thread this stub back, axle back on, go ahead put some blue Loctite in that hole. I'm going to go ahead and get this line back up here and that will help hold it and lock it in place so in the future we'll have no problems with it and then we'll go ahead get this all threaded back together and then we'll just reverse everything and reinstall it. Now that we got our new stub axle in, all you got to do is reverse the process pretty easy go ahead and pop this back through make sure that bearing gets in there make sure the clearance on this pin holes right get your axle line back up here get that installed here put your knuckle back onto your a-arm get it lined up here we'll go ahead put our pin back through here once it's lined up, it should just slide right in that nice and easy. Then we'll go ahead, get our set screw here that keeps that pin in place. Once we get that lined up, we're all done with that part. And you can see that so far it's going pretty easy. Now to finish this, it's pretty simple. All you got to do is get your hex hub here. Go ahead, put that on. Go ahead, put your pin in. Usually I twist it sideways. That way it don't fall out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the M3 by 10 screw. We're going to get that. We're going to put just a drop, and I end up doing too big of a drop of thread lock on there. And we're going to go ahead, hold the pin so it don't move. And then we're going to thread this screw in. And what this screw does is it locks that pin in so it don't go nowhere. 
and that's pretty easy and simple to get this on and that's all you got to do to do the front nice and snug the loctite will keep it on there now we're good to go on the front let's go ahead and do the rear doing the rear is the same as the front just a tad bit different because you don't have the steering knuckle same concept so i'm just going to go ahead and do it real quick so you guys can see how it's done Now that's all you got to do to put 17 millimeter hexes on your Arma Big Rock. And this will also work on the Arma Vortex too. Same concept, same parts, you can do it on either one of them. And that's how easy it is to change the 17 millimeter hubs on your Arma Big Rock. So let's go ahead and I'll put the tires and wheels on that I want to use so you guys can check them out. Alright, and here's my Arma Big Rock with my Proline Badlands MX 2.8s. And I think that looks awesome. Now the link I'll leave down below for the wheel nuts are going to be red. I had silver ones so I didn't order them. So that's what I used. I kind of like that silver nut with the red hub and the black rims. I think that looks real good. So as always, like I said, I'll leave links to all the parts to do this down below. And everything that I used today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. On Facebook, I got a group, RC Car Life. Come on over and join in on the fun. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.